And now we are here in the kitchen with Chef Justine. Thank you so much for being here. Uh, yeah, thanks for having me. What are we going to make? Today we're going to make a maple mango chutney. Oh, uh, that sounds good. Simple version of it, kind of spicy, kind of not, over some shrimp. Fabulous. Well, let's get started. Right. What do we do? We're gonna right. start with a little bit of oil. First, I like to saute the garlic and the ginger a little bit. All right. Get it going. Here, a little sizzle there. That's great. We'll just cook that for a few minutes. Now that it's looking like it's getting a little bit of color, we're gonna go ahead and add the mango okay. and the other ingredients. Go ahead and stir that up. You just cubed up the mango. Yep, and brown sugar, let it melt together. Right. A little bit of crushed red pepper. A little spice. Will all of the mango cook down or do we want chunks to remain? It'll cook down a little bit, we'll let it simmer for a few minutes. Put the maple syrup and everything, let it come to a boil and um, it'll reduce a little bit and it'll, they'll soften up and they'll change the color a little bit. Now in coming up with recipes that use maple syrup, of course a lot of us just put it on pancakes, mm -hmm. but what do we need to think about? It's a sugar, mm -hmm. so how do you know how much to add and how it's gonna behave? It's sweet, but it's not as sweet as regular sugar. So you can add about as much as you like. And it's, you know, honey's a liquid sugar, but honey's a lot denser. Right, yeah, it's similar to using honey or agave nectar, but it's not as intense, so you can use a little bit more. So I wouldn't have with a half a cup on this recipe. So it's not overpowering, not overpowering maple flavor, and it's not super sweet, but balances out the mango. So there's plenty of liquid in mm -hmm. here. We need to let that simmer and reduce down? Yep, we need to let it simmer and reduce for about five, 10 minutes, and we'll be good to go. So this is starting to look close. Yep, it's almost ready. All right, time to make shrimp, right? Yep, so now we'll get our shrimp going. And what are you planning to do with them? Just put a little oil in the pan and we're just gonna saute them. You can grill them or skewer them. You can do whatever you like and it would go pretty good. But today we'll just saute them. Okay. Oh, the yes, tongs. I'll give you the tongs. I think it'll take a few minutes per side. It's a quick, easy dish. The shrimp looks perfect. Should we plate this up? Yep. Now, have you experimented with this kind of sweet and spicy with shrimp before? Is this a... A new idea. Um, no, I've done similar things in the past. I've used, like this is my first time using maple syrup. So I've used honey and other sweeteners like we talked about earlier. And this was a good way to try something different. Right, and how much sauce? I think this is gonna be delicious. So and do you want it I'm on just top? I'm just it on top. All right, okay. let's do that. Oh. Now we're gonna try it. I can't wait to see what the sauce tastes like. Mm. It's really hot. <laughs> it's delicious though. It tastes a little like a sweet Thai chili sauce, mm -hmm. but mapley. <laughs> that is delicious. Thank you so much. All right, and we've made a wonderful hot and sweet sauce. What are we gonna make now with maple syrup? Now we're gonna do a apple maple sauce that will go good on some pork. All right, mm -hmm. that sounds delicious. So how do we get started All with right. that? You decided to go more sweet and savory. Is that something you like to work with? Yeah, I like incorporating sweets. Especially with fruit, I went with fruit this time. Well, and apples and maple syrup, that's fabulous. Yeah, a lot of maple recipes are desserts, but I decided to go the other route. And these are, are they Granny Smith apples? Did you 
go for something that's a little tarter, or did it, does it matter? Just whatever apples you want to use. Yeah, a little, little tart green apples. So we're just going to let these cook down for a few minutes. OK. So the apples are starting to get a little brown on some of their undersides. Is that a, a yep. sign that it's time to move on? Yep, now's a good time. We'll go ahead and add the lemon juice. All right. And some white wine vinegar. All right, so that's a lot of acid. What's the... Uh... It'll balance out with the maple syrup. Okay. It'll calm down. It's more of a savory sauce. Yeah. So what kind of um, a consistency are you looking for with the apples? Do you want them to get soft? They'll be a little soft, yeah. All right, but you want a little bit of bite left to them, or do you want apple saucy mush? <laughs> no, we'll stop it before they're complete mush. So we're just let that cook for a few minutes, and then we'll add maple syrup. So this has reduced quite a bit. Yep, it looks good. Now is a good time to add our maple syrup. Wonderful. And that color is so beautiful. In my personal taste, the darker, the better. Right. It seems to have a stronger flavor, but it could just be my imagination, too. No, I you're know. right. So we'll let it simmer on medium to high for a few minutes. All right. And, and then reduce you... again. All right. So we'll now get... we're going to make it an even thicker. more intense maple flavor, because right. we're going to cook away more of the moisture. Yep. And, and you want this to be really thick and syrupy, or? It'll be kind of thick. All we'll right. Let it reduce it by half. OK, and then we're going to add it to the food processor later. But in the meantime, we can start our pork. All right, so it's going to take a few minutes. And pork that and maple, that's, a, that's also a pretty classic yeah, flavor combination. Yeah, it's pretty common. A lot of recipes with bacon, and I tried to. And apples go well with pork. So yeah. it's kind of tra traditional but it's something everybody could do at home. We'll go ahead and add just a little bit of salt and pepper. So we'll let these cook for a few minutes on each side, nice and brown, while that's reducing. All right, and you're ready to flip that. How do you know? You can see on the edges, it's gotten a little white. It's changed okay. color a little bit. And it's got a nice golden color on the other side. Oh, wonderful. So now's a good time to let it, let, let it sit and do the same thing to the other side. So this has reduced down about by half. So yeah. that's ready to for the next step, which is yep. the food processor? Yep, I'm going to put it into the food processor. We're going to puree it. Turns it more into a sauce or puree, easier to eat with All right. the pork. And it's going to be pretty thin, but lots of flavor. Yeah, the apples will help thicken it up. So I blended it for a few minutes, all right. got all the ingredients And I know you had water standing by, but you decided yeah, it was I decided, juicy enough? Yeah, I decided it was OK. Because sometimes right. you might over over reduce it, and it's good to add a little bit of water. Right. But this one bowl. looks good. Already, that looks just beautiful. It looks like applesauce, but <laughs> so much more, right? All right, and how close are we with the pork? Are they almost done too? Yep, pork looks good. All right. We'll probably go ahead and plate. Yeah. Got a spoon for your sauce. All right. Oh, that looks beautiful. So, something you could just serve over the top of the pork. You'd be good with some rice or served with a salad. That'd be nice. That. that is lovely. And I want to taste that sauce to really get the, the flavor. That's like. Mm. Oh my goodness, that is so delicious. Got the maple. Yeah. Apple. Wow, that is a taste explosion. <laughs> Chef Justine, thank you so thank much. You.